So, this is Nellie Deutsch, and we're about to upgrade from 3.6 to 3.9 in a couple of steps using Softacalus. So, let's click on it and start the process. We had to uh, change the theme, of course. Let's go into outdated ones. This is the one we're doing. Notice over here. It's right now, it's uh, 3.6.6. .6. Let's click on it. I love doing this, as I said. And if you're interested in my doing it for you, let me know. So let's see what the options are. We're not going to go straight through 3.6.10 and then 3.7. All right, just to make sure we're going to do it step by step. So first of all, we're going up to 3.6.10. We'll do it gradually. That's always a good idea. It's always a, a very important point to upgrade. And notice of list allows you to do that. So right now we're um, upgrading and the upgrade includes the backup. And that's one of the reasons why it takes longer, depending on the site, of course. Um, but the minute you see, and I suggest you stay on the page, for some reason, when I look at it, it goes faster than when I do something else. So keep the page open. Wait until it's 95. And then wait. Of course, uh, the time that it takes will depend on the size, as I said, but also on the server, whether it's being upgraded or whatever is happening, and the load. Also, your site, wherever you happen to be, your local area. That will also determine how long it takes. So patience is really important. Be patient. And don't try to make things move any faster than they can. So 95 is where I can leave the page, wait around, and wait for things to happen. By the way, it's always a good idea to keep upgrading, keep updating your Moodle version, and not wait like I did. The reason I wait, of course, is because of the theme. I just love Essential, and I'm really sorry that they couldn't go on with it uh, due to changes on Moodle. So it wasn't really their doing. They had no choice. So the foundation, I hope that they develop it, and it turns out to be just as beautiful as Essential. There are also paid themes, if you're interested. There's Edwiser, which isn't that expensive. If you're interested in an amazing theme, RUI, REM, UI, REM, sorry, UI, which is also an amazing theme. So here we are. Okay, so it's ready. So we're going to go to the admin. Notice, please delete the install folder after you upgrade. I'm going to do this after I finish the whole process. So this is what it looks like. We're going to 3.6.10. Notice, don't worry about that. It's a check, but it's okay. You don't have to deal with it. And then we're going to scroll down. Now here again, your patience is really important. So uh, be patient. And trust the system. It works. So don't panic. I know that we do panic when things don't go fast enough. But no worries. It always works. And notice what comes up first. If you're interested in learning how to authorize Gmail, Facebook, Microsoft, Yahoo, even Twitter, and so on, let me know. I'll be happy to show you how that's done. You can also find the information on Moodle.org. So next, let's go into continue. And that's it. That wasn't so bad, was it? All right. So uh, going from 3.6.66 to 3.6.10 wasn't such a big deal, right? Okay. So uh, you might want to get rid of that, do that. And then we're going to go back now to our C panel and Softiculus and upgrade. There we go. Now is three point notice here. Uh, now we're going to go up. All right. So it's still under maintenance, by the way. So now we're going to go back here. 
Okay, we've got that. We're going to go to our installations. Okay, back to installation. Let's see if the page is still okay. If we need to log in again, that might happen. All right, so here we are. We're under 3.6.10, and we want to go up to 7. Remember, our goal is 3.9.1, so let's go to 3.9. 7.7 .7, and of course the backup now this might take a bit longer of course because um it's not under the same system it's and notice what happens here now this is a very important step please tick this off and go back you need um to raise so we're back waiting for the 95 mark that's what we wait for. Uh, with the three points, as I said, it went really, really fast. Um, with the 3.7.7, it might take longer. But our goal is out there. And we're trusting the system that once we reach 95, everything's going to be fine. And we're going to continue. Isn't this exciting? If you're interested in having your own Moodle site, let me know. I'm always available to help. You can find my YouTube videos under Nelly Deutsch on YouTube. You can ask questions there. There are lots of videos showing how that's done. So feel free to contact me for more information. Being independent and having, I'm talking teachers to teachers. Being an independent teacher and being able to give your own courses and have control is an amazing feeling. I've been doing this since 2003, and trust me, my work has changed. The way I relate to my face-to-face -face students has changed. The way I teach has changed. My life has changed as a result of uh, having this independence as a teacher you might want to get rid of okay let me get rid of these and the reason is that it takes space and you don't want that notice 107 mb 99 okay it might be even larger so get rid of your backups you don't need all of them notice what we're doing right now we're upgrading from 3.610 to 3.7 0.7 so we can go up to 3.9 so this is still there it's saved until we get the next one up all right so we're ready for as you can see 3.7.7 .7 right here okay we're going to confirm and continue so let's continue with our upgrade this is so exciting i don't know it's like Moving to a new house with new furniture, or at least getting the new furniture once you move into a new house. So there it is. Okay, it took us a bit longer this time, as you noticed. The site is not that full, which means that um, it doesn't take that long. Let's go to the bottom, upgrade Moodle data, the database now. Okay, it's up. Grading to the new version. Now it's 3.7. We've got nothing to worry about because remember, we stopped essential 3.6.10, which, where it worked and so that we can upgrade. So make sure that you've got the right theme, that you've chosen the right theme. Not only that you have it on your website, but you selected the theme that works with the upgrade with 3.9. Okay, that's really, really important. Now, going to 3.7 means a lot more features. It's quite different from 3.6.10. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Moodle changed, made quite a few changes, and it does this every once in a while, as I've said in the past, it's a good idea to upgrade whenever a new upgrade comes up. Don't wait. Just make sure that whatever you have 
is in the new upgrade. So if you've got plugins that you really like, but that have not been upgraded to uh, 3.9, for example, you might want to wait, or you might just uh, contact the owners of the plugins or find out if they're going to have an update. If not, you might want to forget about them and try to find another plugin. So your priority is to Moodle, not to the plugins. Please keep that in mind. But check with the plugins before if you've paid money. Make sure that they are aware. Okay, I just want to help you along. If you get to here and you haven't seen continue yet, go to the site, log in as the admin, of course. All right, so uh, you can move things along. So uh, let's see. Let's try to move things along because after all, we want to get to 3.9.1. So notice you need to register. Now this is important. So um, let's um, register. All right, there we go. Uh, we need to um, update the registration since it's 3.7. Don't worry about that. All right, so occurred during the registration. Let's see why. Okay, I went into notifications to make sure that it's 3.7, so I can go up to 3.9. So here we are. Let's, um, we're going to upgrade, but we're still going to create a backup. So here we are. Now we're upgrading to 3.9. Okay, so if you see this undefined, I don't like to see that. Start again. All right, so let's go back into installation. Sometimes we need to help things along. And OK, we're 3.7. Let's click on it. Start the upgrade again. There we go, because we want to see the numbers. At least I do. All right. And then we're again reminded that the PHP has to be 7.2.31. All right, so now we're waiting for the 95. That's our goal. And 3.9. Now it should be quite easy from here because from 3.77 to 3.9 is basically the same system. That's the change that they made from 3.6 to the 7 and 9. So we're at the 95% mark and that's good news. So now we wait. If you're impatient, you go straight into the site. As you can see, I went into the site with the uh, admin login and uh, I can see that I'm ready for the 3.9 but if you're not sure go back to your soft tickleus and so here we are we're ready okay so it doesn't matter whether you went to the site admin or whether okay it's the same you're going to click on continue like you did before now we're going from three point ignore these two you don't need to worry about that those are checks that are fine with or without. And now we're going to scroll down and upgrade all the way down. Upgrade to Moodle 3.9. We've come a long way on Moodle <laughs> now that we've reached 3.9. So we're waiting for the system. It's upgrading and we're waiting. And here it comes. Isn't that exciting? I love that green. Um, it's really exciting. I, I find this exciting and I've been doing this for so many years, but it always excites me to uh, be part of an upgrade. I mean, that's my little part, but there are developers who work on these and, uh, I'd like to thank them for the hard work that they do. Okay. So there's the final continue. I love that in blue. Right, so um, the green is over. Enable feedback about the software. Um, yeah, that's a nice idea, isn't it? To get feedback. Okay, all the yeses are ticked off. All right, we can always do that and save. That's it. We're on 3.9.1, the latest Moodle version for today. Okay, so let's uh, just confirm. Uh, do not use my site. Uh, display my name and site link. 
and uh, let's uh, update registration. Uh, we need to agree once again. Click on update and we're ready to go. Notice some information here. The hub cannot access the site. Unexpected, the little site and the hub. All right, so, okay, that's fine. All right, so now we are, let's uh, go into notification so we can see what version and to see the three. So there it is, 3.9. Is that amazing? Uh, let's go into and see if, um, oh, we're in maintenance. All right, so let's disable the maintenance. Thank you for it. Disable maintenance. That's it. That could have been the cause of the hub not being able to connect, I presume. So save changes. The site is no longer. So if we go back into that, we should be able to uh, registration that. Ah, now it's clean. The site is recognized because we're out of the maintenance mode. So if you don't like to see those errors, uh, contact me. I may be able to help. And that's it. We are finished. We have upgraded the site and we're good to go. If we want to do anything else, we'll be able to do that now. So let me log out. So the next stage is to um, fix the appearance to make it look a little more appealing. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe.